Jeep talking about the Indian detective, look cool, and a lot of other things with my main man Fayaz. Tune in. Got Hamza Huck here from the Indian detective. Correct. Yes. It's well. this is a big deal for me, man. This is <laughs> this is awesome having a having a star here on our channel. So let's get this going. Talking about the the Indian detective. We're in the first season right now. We just actually had the season finale. Yeah. And that's on CTV on on TV. That's for you Canadians out here. If you missed that and you don't have on demand, you can watch it for free on CTV.ca as well. So. Oh. Okay, sick, sick. So like people, like if if there are some like common, you know, Instagram followers and stuff like that, yeah. stop personally DMing me about uh -huh. why it's not on Netflix. I don't make these decisions. Oh. It's, on, it's, it's on Netflix everywhere in the world, except Canada. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Yeah. I'd like to place an order for a small hot chocolate. Yes. And what do you want? A medium coffee, two milk, half sugar. A medium coffee, two milk, and a half sugar. Is there anything else? Uh, anything else, bro? That, that's it. Uh, that would be three fifty-five in total. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. Always, always too important. <laughs> yeah. So how is it? How is it working alongside some of these awesome actors like Russell Peters? There's the um, the guy in Star Trek. Does it come on, man? William Shatner. <laughs> William Shatner. And I don't do retake. You're gonna on YouTube forget William Shatner's name. But you know, this, I, I said Star Trek. He was a he was the, the first um, the first captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's and then he's on Priceline too. He's the yeah. uh, <laughs> see. I know you, buddy. I know you. If you're watching this, I know you through Priceline and <laughs> Star Trek. The famous Bollywood actor, Anand Bunker. Yeah, man. Yeah. How is it working alongside these three? Awesome actress. Um, it was it was great, man. I mean, yeah. like when I found out what the gig was for and that they wanted me and everything, and yeah. especially the first day that I met the guy, it was just I had to. T I was just like in 100% fanboy mode. You know what I mean? Nice. And it was just it was nice. it was great, man. It was thing like I would just show up on on days where I wasn't working to to watch a book care work as well. I had a lot of scenes with. William Shatner as well. Yes. And that was, it was intimidating at first, you know uh -huh. what I mean? It was just it was quite intimidating because this guy's been, this guy's been acting twice as long as I've been alive. Right. Like no, like no joke. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not, that's not an exaggeration. Right. The dude is 86 years old. Really? Yeah. He doesn't look it. Right? Yeah, he's, and. Holy. And he just, uh, he just walks on set. Yeah. And like, he's so professional where he's not bothered by anything else. He's right. just like, well, I have a job to do. Throughout that entire time, obviously everybody wants a picture with William Shatner. I got mine, you know, like. Yeah, good I was stuff. just like, hey, just by the way. Uh, yeah. Can I uh, send this to my parents? And, like Russell Peters talked to my brother on the phone for like, oh, nice. yeah, for like half an hour or something. I don't even know, but like, you know, my brother was a fan. He's like, yo, could you? And I was just like, I'll, I'll ask him. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it sound professional? I don't know. Right. Hey, Russell, my brother wants to talk to you. And he just took the phone. Amazing. And a lot of people might be wondering this: that do you have a twin? Because we see a twin on the show, and we've seen a twin on another show, which I'm gonna we're gonna talk yeah, about yeah. right now. That you were also a host, was it? Of a, yeah, yeah. Of a children's show called Look Cool. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't have. A, I don't have a twin. Okay. But what a coincidence that you have a, a twin on both shows. Right. Yeah. I mean, like that's amazing. Yeah. So for those of you who haven't seen Look Cool, you can watch. Uh, that's cool with a K. With a K. So yes. So it's a palindrome. You know what I mean? Same nice. forward, backwards. Yeah. Right. Well, Wait. That's what it is. Yeah, right on. Right. So, are, is that is that something you're still active on, or are those just reruns now? So yeah, those are just reruns. It's funny. Okay. Like a lot of, because they they still air them. A lot of people are still watching them, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um. You know, it's just, it's a show where I teach kids math. Um, in grades one, two, and three about Amazing. geometry and spatial relations and everything like that. So they, they run it. It's like after school, kids watch it. Yeah. And because they still air it, people are still messaging me like, hey, man, like we just watched Look Cool and stuff that like me. that. Are you that still doing that? Well, yeah, well, one of, you know, <laughs> yeah. one of the people. <laughs> What what inspired you to get into acting, or how did you get into acting? I was like, so uh, like I'm the youngest of four kids, okay. so that like that naturally like you know, um, yeah. performing for your older siblings and cousins, and anytime there was like any kind of gathering and stuff like that. Okay, like Hamza, you go dance, you know what I mean? Oh, and nice. I loved it, you know, nice. I loved it. Nice. So yeah, I mean, I was in I was in university. I was mm. studying accounting as oh. as we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> the brown, you know. Right? Yeah. Um, I just like I was in accounting for about a year, and mm -hmm. then I just you no. Know, while I was in university, I took acting classes on the side in Ottawa. Okay. I was in extras in movies and stuff like that, and okay. then and then I just talked to my dad 
like at the end of first year yeah was, they were you know like my marks were great parents were happy and i was just like yeah i hate it oh. i hate accounting yeah, i, yeah, I yeah. don't want to do this and my dad was like so like what do you want to do i'm like yeah i really want to be an actor but uh -huh. and my dad just like put his hand on his head but was, actually yeah the reason he did that was he was just like why didn't you tell me before Wow, you know, that's supportive. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, supportive. there's a twist. He's just yes, like, no, I would have yes. sent you to NYU or UCLA or wherever oh, wow. you wanted to go. And wow. I was just like, you know, I was just like, well, I didn't know how to tell you. It was like, it was like coming out, you know yeah, what I mean? It was yeah. like, Dad, I'm an actor. And, you know, you just expect them to lose their mind or whatever. And right. it just was, it didn't work out that way. And, um, and then, yeah, we just shook hands on it one time. I switched into a... Uh, I started doing film studies at Carleton University with oh, a minor wow. in law. Okay. And literally weeks within, like, after graduating, yeah. I moved to Los Angeles. Amazing. Yeah. All the time I was taking acting classes on the side. Yeah. And then once I moved to LA, I started taking my my studying a little bit more seriously. Cool. After, yeah. And then from there, it just like, you know, just waiting tables and selling shoes and whatever up mm -hmm. until... I fell ass backwards into look cool. So now going back to Indian Detective. Yeah. What's what's the screen name of, of your name and your twin? Uh, Gopal and uh -huh. Amal Chandakar. Sounds good. So keep an eye out for that. That's amazing. Cool guys. So if you guys haven't watched this, I suggest you do over on Netflix and crossing fingers that season two comes out so you guys can watch it on TV or on Netflix. And or ctv.ca ctv.ca that's it so mm -hmm. plan is we're gonna get my buddy Hums over here to drive the Jeep he's a fan by the way so stay tuned for the second half of this episode it's gonna be a whole twist and a lot of fun stay tuned all right guys so we've actually swapped seats now and I got my man driving the Jeep I'd look over but 10 and 2 guys <laughs> 10 and 2 yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you find the experience man this is this is really so the first car that I ever drove was a I think it was like 2004 Ford Windstar oh right? wow. so that was the biggest car that I ever drove yes yes and, then, and like I'm way higher I moved yeah but I've moved a couple of times so I've drove, driven some cargo vans as well okay so like this experience of just being in this behemoth of a car is just it's just awesome man. nice I'm, and I'm like, I'm really feeling that like the car is taking care of me as far as the suspension is concerned. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm really like, I'm like, I feel the car moving very organically with the road. You know? If you did end up getting a vehicle, would, would Jeep be in your list of potentials? I have always wanted a Jeep. Okay. I, like, admittedly, and I'm not just saying this because like, oh, you're, you're on my channel. Jeep. You should say like, I always, no, like no. legitimately ask around. Yeah. Ask, you know what I mean? Like uh -huh. my siblings, my friends, like I always... I love I love being in SUVs. Nice. And I always love Jeeps because there's something so like like it speaks to the child in me. Like when I grew up thinking what kind of car that I would yeah. drive, it it like feels like the toys that I had of course. when I was growing up, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm just like, yeah, well when I grow up, I want to drive this thing, you know what right. I mean? And it's just like it just like seems like a it seems like a safe car, especially in Canada. I mean, if you see the, I can never imagine you getting stuck in the snow. In this yeah, time. totally. See what like how many? How big are your wheels? So these are thirty-seven inch tires and seventeen inch rims. So more rubber than yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah. rim, yeah, yeah. but yeah, thirty sevens. That's oh, sweet. I totally would drive a Jeep. Sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different experience. Plus the fact, I mean, going back to what you were saying, that you can remove the doors, you can remove the roof, and it, it is a toy. Yeah, you get the, it's so customizable, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. Like, I always thought about like, you know, like I'd have this, I'd have this sort of like, this military green, you know, and sort yeah. of like the sweater, yeah. Yeah. and I just matte black, or like matte, matte it. green it, yeah. matte green it, yeah. and then like, and then in the summer, yeah. you know, you take the doors off, but in the winter, my doors would be white, so I just like rep Pakistan flag all the time. Oh yeah, I mean, it just it has the green and white. Yeah, flag. exactly. But like, I mean, I feel like it would just be the fobbiest thing that I could do. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd still do it. Right? You know yeah, why I mean? not? Yeah. So why? So why do you have a Jeep? You told me before, and yeah. for, for for those of you who don't know, you used to have a Challenger. Yes, yes, and I then, have a Challenger. And then you found out that he was going to have... Do you talk about your kids on the Yeah, yeah, okay. I do, I do. So, I don't know if it's like his big scene. <laughs> no, it's okay, like it's so, okay. so, so then he, his, uh, his wife, who I'm sure is lovely, said that she was having twins. Yes, And within, you. you know, in short term, two months of having that yeah, Challenger. two months of having that Challenger. Sin. Exactly. And yeah, you know what, it was always something, when I was younger, I would look up at a Jeep and be like, cool. When, when right. they had the TJs and the YJs, it was like a box element and it looked like you know it, it was versatile and you could do a lot to it yeah and then you know i kind of just left that dream and f 
surprisingly enough, my wife was totally into cheeps as well. Oh, so and I didn't know that. And like, that's when so, you know it's meant to be. Exactly. <laughs> so now imagine when I'm I'm looking for accessories. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot easier because she's into cheap. Right. So she. Right? It's not like a oh yeah. Why are you spending all your time on this thing? It's exactly. like oh, what'd you find now? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty much how I got into it and and how it's just become an addiction now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, well, I mean. Uh, there are worse things to be addicted to. That's true. So That's true. For any time in the future on any of the episodes that you guys air, if you guys are looking for a Jeep or like a badass looking vehicle. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, I mean, I could I could totally see Amal, you know, badass guy in Toronto. Sick. All, like, you know, wears dark clothes and stuff like that. He jumps into one of these. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah. available, guys. For sure. Know? But yeah, talk to your guys about that. This Jeep is totally available. You know, you guys heard it. You guys heard it. It's if available. Wanna, if you want a hashtag blacked out Jeep. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure. And then, you know, with the Jeep comes the blacked out yeah. Jeep Wrangler guys. So I'm always available for any extras. Yeah. Detective, there's a lot of brown people in the background. That's you know true. I mean? That's true, guys. Yeah. That's true. I was mentioning, uh, you know, I was mentioning earlier, mm -hmm. um, um, in episode two of, of you know, uh, Amal's getting a haircut. Yeah. And that guy's my real barber. Wow. Like, I asked him, yeah. That's I, amazing, man. I asked them if they're like looking for this Indian barber, and I was like, hey, so my barber, you know, my barber's Indian. And they're like, yep, let's have him on, you know what I mean? So, like, wicked. Yeah. We'll, try to, we'll try to get you in there. For sure. I, I've always loved, I mean, I, I make this joke, and it's like, as a YouTuber, you are your own story writer, right. your own producer, director, um, actor, and yeah. editor. I'm like, you know, you're, you're like. So a, say goodbye to having any semblance of creative control. Like I know. Stepping onto a, that's true. I'm that's true. <laughs> mm. No, it's a lot of fun. Always Tim Hortons. Always Tim Hortons. Yeah, I got my hot chocolate here, guys. So uh, they open one in Dubai. There's mm -hmm. one in London. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been to those, but I don't know if there's one in the states. But. Might have heard. I don't know. You guys comment below and let me know if you guys have Tim Hortons in the U.S. There you go. Uh, I can always count on my uh, on my followers. They they're, they're quick in commenting below. Oh, great! So uh, they get quite active, and awesome. yeah, I appreciate it, guys. For those of you who have seen the Indian Detective uh -huh. and or haven't and are inspired by this video to maybe go check it out, check it out and then comment below. Let us know what you think. For sure, you know? please do check it out. I definitely suggest it. I'm, I haven't been told to mention this or to say this, but I honestly love it. My parents watch this. My brother-in-law and my sister watch it. My kids are forced to watch it because they're just a year and a half <laughs> so but bro i'm getting a 58 inch tv coming in on wednesday oh well done so it's uh thanks it's, it's so if you guys haven't 40. seen it the, this is an open invitation come to go to fast you come to my place and <laughs> watch it on a 58 inch yeah, yeah no i'm crossing my fingers honestly bro that um season two does come out and yeah. we're able to to enjoy this and and i wish you and your team all the best and all the success thanks so very much man and for once sure. again thanks for Thanks for reaching out so lovingly. Just thanks very much for Anytime, having me. Anytime, brother. Anytime, brother. And, and thank you for taking out some time for me out Absolutely. of your busy schedule. Absolutely. Any, if there's any Jeep representatives watching this, I'm I'm fully willing to do a commercial, and I will take one of these as payment. Sounds good, Jeep uh, Jeep Canada, Fiat Canada, whoever is watching here. Yeah, you can be a brand ambassador. And me why too. Not? Yeah. I'm in the I'm, I'm in the in the lineup here as well for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, why not, man? All right, guys. So. Thanks for watching. Hope this was fun. Uh, it was a privilege for me. Me and as well, man. Thank you. Anytime. So, guys, remember, please subscribe, hit the like, share. Where's the Where's the subscribe button? The subscribe button, uh, it's going to be up here somewhere. Here or wherever. Maybe even below the video. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and remember, Jeep, just empty every pocket. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, very good. Yeah, oh, yeah, very good. yeah, yeah, Jeep. Uh, and check me out uh, at Go Huck Yourself. Yeah, not go <laughs> yourself, but yeah. Go HAQ. Yeah, go hug yourself. Go hug yourself. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter if you if you want. Yes, yeah, follow him. Please do. He's 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 awesome. Has uh, amazing pictures up there, and uh, yeah, well. Uh, and I and I often do voices and, and stuff and keep that's you entertained. Right. And stuff like that's that. right. Your stories are amazing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Yeah. See you guys soon.